Hexclad claims to sear like stainless steel and cook eggs like nonstick. But is that really true? In this video, I put it to the test against one of the best cookware brands in the world, all clad. First, I'll break down their differences, then I'll reveal the results from my cooking tests that will help you decide which brand is right for you. Let's get started. One of the most significant differences between Hexclad and Allclad is their construction. Allclad specializes in stainless steel cookware and has several collections, including D3, D5, Copper Core, and G5. Although each collection has unique features, all of them are fully clad with a steel bottom layer, a core layer of either aluminum or copper for even heat conduction, and a steel cooking surface. All clad stainless steel pans are highly versatile, but if you're looking for nonstick pans for eggs and delicate foods, they offer that too. The HA1 and Essentials collections are made with a thick, hard anodized aluminum base and a multi-layer non-stick coating on the cooking surface. Hexclad keeps it simple with a single collection of hybrid cookware. These pans have three-ply construction with a magnetic stainless steel exterior, a heat conductive aluminum core, and Hexclad's signature stainless steel and non-stick hybrid cooking surface. Every all-clad pan has a smooth surface whether it's steel or non-stick. The stainless steel cookware has either a brushed or polished exterior finish, while the non-stick has a black finish, which is a result of the anodizing process. Hexclad pans feature a network of stainless steel peaks and non-stick valleys that form tiny hexagons. This pattern goes up the pan's sides, ending with a solid steel band around the rim. The idea behind this design is that the steel peaks don't allow spatulas, tongs, or forks to touch the nonstick coating, so you can cook with metal utensils without scratching or ruining the pan. Another major difference between the design of Hexclad and Allclad is the handles. Hexclad features riveted, polished stainless steel handles that are round and hollow in the middle to disperse heat and stay cool. Allclad handles are also stainless steel and riveted, but the design is different. Instead of being round, Allclad clad handles are cup shaped with a groove on top. There are advantages and disadvantages to both designs. Hexclad's rounded handles look nice and are comfortable, but they're prone to slipping and rotating in your hand. Let's say you're boiling pasta and grab the handle wearing an oven mitt. When you tilt the pan to pour the pasta into a strainer, there's a chance the handle will slip and you could spill the hot water. Allclad's handles are less comfortable, but the cup shaped design locks into your hand, giving you much more control. Besides the shape, Allclad handles are straight and positioned at a higher angle, so you get much more leverage when shaking or flipping food. Both brands are expensive, but all clad prices vary across collections. For example, the Essentials Nonstick collection is the least expensive, and the Copper Core and D5 collections cost the most. The HA1 and D3 collections fall in the middle. Typically, Hexclad is more expensive than all clad's Nonstick and D3 collections, but cheaper than D5 and Copper Core. Hexclad cookware is designed in California, but it's manufactured in China. Allclad stainless steel cookware is made just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, although the handles and the lids are made in China and attached in the US. Allclad's hard anodized non-stick cookware is made in China. Hexclad and Allclad are safe in the oven, but the temperature limits differ. Hexclad cookware is oven safe up to 500, but it's not safe to use under the broiler. Allclad stainless steel is oven safe up to 600, and it's broiler safe. The nonstick pans can handle up to 500 in the oven, but are not broiler safe. The whole idea behind Hexclad is that the hybrid cooking surface gives you the best of both worlds. It can sear like stainless steel and cook eggs like a nonstick pan. So in theory, one Hexclad pan should be able to do the job of two all-clad pans. To find out if that was true, I conducted two tests. The goal of the first test was to compare Hexclad's ability to sear versus all-clad stainless steel. For this test, I used a D3 pan, which is all-clad's most popular collection. First, I seasoned two pieces of salmon with salt and garlic powder and preheated both pans. I made sure to preheat them for the same amount of time at the same temperature. Once the pans were hot, I greased them with the same amount of oil. Then, I placed the salmon skin side down and let it sear for a couple minutes. After flipping the fish, you can see a nice sear and color on the skin side of both pieces. After flipping again, you can see the color on the flesh side. Once the fish was seared, I placed both pans in the oven to finish cooking, and after about four minutes, both pieces of salmon were done. As you can see, both Hexclad and Allclad did a great job searing and roasting the salmon. The outside had good texture and color, while the inside was cooked just right. If you still don't buy the fact that Hexclad is good for searing, here's another piece of salmon I cooked recently. This piece was thicker so I could brown it a little bit more without overcooking. The only noticeable difference between the two pans is that the Hexclad pan barely had any residue or discoloration from the oils. It took less than 30 seconds to clean. The fish didn't stick to the Allclad pan, 
but there was some leftover staining that took about a minute to scrub off. Because Hexclad's cooking surface has non-stick coating beneath the steel hexagons, it releases food better than a traditional stainless steel pan. But I wanted to see how it compared to a traditional non-stick pan with a smooth cooking surface. So for the second test, I put Hexclad head-to-head -head against Allclad's most popular non-stick pan within the HA1 collection. First, I cooked an egg in each pan without any oil or butter. I preheated both pans for a couple minutes, but since the hex clad pan is 3 mm thick and the all clad pan is 4 mm thick, the hex clad pan was hotter when I added the eggs. At first, the egg didn't stick to either pan, but after flipping the egg in the hex clad pan, it began to stick and I accidentally broke the yolk when I nudged it with a spatula. I've tried cooking eggs in an ungreased hex clad pan at a lower temperature in the past and the results were even worse. The all clad pan made cooking the eggs much easier. Because it's thicker and heats slower, the egg cooked more evenly without browning too much and it didn't stick to the smooth non-stick surface at all. I cooked another egg in each pan, but instead of leaving the pans dry, I greased the surface with a little oil and butter. This time, the egg slid around both pans without any sticking. But again, after preheating for the same amount of time at the same temperature, Hexclad's thinner walls made the cooking surface hotter and the eggs were overcooked slightly. I could have lowered the temperature to correct that, but I wanted to show you a direct comparison of Hexclad versus Allclad, while minimizing the variables. The key takeaway here is that you absolutely can sear meats and cook eggs in a hex clad pan, but all clad non-stick pans are better for cooking with little to no grease. So should you buy hex clad or all clad? The truth is, it depends. I've been cooking with both brands for several years. Both heat up fast and evenly, both retain heat well, and you can use both for just about any cooking technique and ingredient. With Allclad, you get a much more traditional cooking experience. You can use their American-made stainless steel pans for searing, roasting, frying, broiling, and pan sauces. And if you want a convenient option for eggs or other low-fat cooking, their non-stick pans do an excellent job releasing food with little to no oil. At first, I thought Hexclad was a gimmick, but after using it for several Several months, I've been pleasantly surprised with how well it cooks. It can sear better than most nonstick pans and releases food better than stainless steel. It's convenient and versatile, and its unique hybrid design minimizes scratches and extends its lifespan. That said, if you're choosing between one hex clad pan and two all clad pans, go with all clad. While hex clad offers the benefits of stainless steel and nonstick, it also comes with the drawbacks of each. Most notably, you can't use it to broil, the nonstick coating will eventually wear down and it costs as much as a high-end stainless steel pan. With Allclad, it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. You can choose the right pan for the job, and they offer a range of collections at different price points. If you're ready to buy, I'll link to both brands in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If you wanna learn more about Hexclad, check out this review where I break down its pros and cons in much more detail. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.